One of the most common questions we hear from new exporters is, what are all of these fees on my freight forwarder's invoice? I'm Kari Crane, editor of Shipping Solutions International Trade Blog Passages. I'll explain the common and not so common fees you can expect to see on your forwarder's pricing list. But first, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our basics of exporting videos, sharing practical advice for exporters and importers. These are the five most common charges. One, air or ocean freight forwarder pricing. This covers the basic cost of moving your goods, depending on size, origin, and destination. Sub fees that are sometimes included in this fee include airline security charge, fuel surcharge, cargo screening or x-ray fee. Two, pickup charge, the cost to collect the shipment from the shipper's warehouse. Three, handling fee, paperwork, bills of lading, document prep. Think of this as the office admin fee for your shipment. It usually ranges from $35 to $75. Four, AES fee. This is for having the forwarder file through AES on your behalf. Save money by doing it yourself. Five, TSA security charge. Post 9-11 regulations mean extra security and rules for air freight. This fee helps cover the associated costs. Those first five charges are common. Here are some less standard charges you might also see. Export licenses. Some goods, like military items or dual-use products, require export licenses. Forwarders charge a fee for handling the license and customs clearance, along with courier fees for returning the license to the exporter or shipper. Certificates of origin. These documents verify where your goods were made. There are two types. FTA certificates for reduced tariffs, and generic certificates for customs duty rates. You might be able to save money by applying for generic certificates yourself online. You can apply for an electronic certificate of origin on our website. Look for a link below. Hazardous materials. Shipping dangerous goods involves special handling and training, so there are extra fees involved. Legalization. This process, often needed for Middle Eastern countries, involves sending documents to consulates or embassies. You might be able to save money and time by doing this yourself through the online certificate of origin portal linked below. I hope this list helps keep the surprises to a minimum next time you get an invoice from your freight forwarder. If you want to learn more, I'll include links below to several more articles explaining freight forwarder cost structure. If you liked this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Watch for more videos sharing real practical advice about export documentation, compliance, and the latest changes affecting exporters. You'll also find hundreds of articles about every aspect of exporting on our blog, shippingsolutions.com blog. You'll find a link below.